10 times, Eminem's disses have crossed the line. Being hurt, and here he is completely and totally disrespecting me in the worst way possible in front of millions of people. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Eminem is known for his diss tracks and how brutal they can be. Today we go over the absolute best disses Eminem has ever done. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to never miss a single upload. That being said, let's get right into it. Number 10. Kill Shot. I heard Kill Shot and I put that back in the holster. I'm like, oh word. Alright. He just he called me a mumble rapper. Early in his career, Eminem frequently released one-time diss tracks as singles in between albums. However, the disses have been on a halt until his recent album, Kamikaze. In a song kill shot, Eminem brutally flames and disses his longtime rival, MGK. Over the years, Eminem and MGK have been beefing and leading to one of the most heated rivalries in the rap world. Kill Shot was a response to MGK's rap devil. Itself is a response to Not Alike from Kamikaze, and in Kill Shot, Eminem showcases a number of different lyrical styles to respond to all of the points that MGK raised in Rap Devil, knocking them down one by one. He also savagely mocks MGK's career achievements and appearances and lyrical ability. Eminem spends the majority of his diss track ridiculing MGK's commercial success, or the lack thereof. I'm 45, and I'm still outselling you. By 29, I had three albums that had blue. Then he claims he'll put the Midwesterner's career next to Jerule and Benzino, two past casualties of his wrath. The lyrical warfare also throws shade at a number of celebrities, including Rihanna, Notorious Big, Diddy, Jay-Z, Taylor Swift, and Iggy Azalea, all hearing their names being dropped. Overall, this diss was one of the most brutal by Eminem and nearly crossed the line. Eminem definitely did not go easy on his target MGK, adding to the fact that he even threw in other celebrities, making it a savage diss track. Number 9. Fall Yo, man, we going to the studio or what? Yeah, let's go. Let's, hold on. Back to his Kamikaze album, Eminem released a song titled Fall. In this track, he attacked the Grammys, Lord Jamar, Joe Budden, and DJ Academics, but also made headlines for his Tyler the Creator diss. The odd future rapper who had previously gotten well with Eminem in the past even supported him on his world tour that included New Zealand, although he was banned from actually performing there. However, Eminem hit out in Fall after Tyler publicly labeled a 2017 track of his horrible. On that song was one of the things where I felt like this might be too far. Fall opens with Eminem saying, Everybody's been telling me what they think about me for the last few months. Maybe it's time I tell them what I think about them. The lines that have drawn the most attention, however, are reserved for Joe Budden. Em and Budden have a long history as Eminem signed Budden to his shady records as part of the group in the early 2010s. Over the last few years, Budden has become a popular podcaster and on-the-air host who has developed a reputation for not mincing words about his opinions. He begins the second verse by firing off, Somebody tell Budden before I snap. He better fasten it or have his body bag get zipped. The closest thing he had to hints is smack and bitches. The shot is short, but both attacks Button as having an unsuccessful music career and jabs at persistent rumors that Button treated his ex-girlfriend poorly. This was one of the craziest disses Eminem had ever dissed out to the public. Number eight, the warning. Conversation, but you going you gonna apologize, okay. and I'ma see you in person and tell you that that's what you have to do. One of Eminem's most famous feuds is with Mariah Carey, and he doesn't really make it a secret. Apparently, the two had a fling, but Carey denies the whole thing. She then released her infamous track, Obsessed, where she basically tells the world that Slim Shady was obsessed with her. Of course, Eminem wasn't gonna let anyone run his name in the dirt, and came out with the song, The Warning. Shortly after Eminem and Carey's relationship, or whatever it was, she wed Nick Cannon, who Eminem also bashes in the song. Recently, Cannon has even challenged Eminem to a rap battle. Clearly, he isn't over the situation. One of the harshest lines in the song is where M raps, Wow, Mariah, didn't expect you to go balls out. Shut the fuck up. Before I put all them phone calls you made in my house. When you was wiling out before Nick. When you was on my dick and give you something to smile about. Alright, Em. You can definitely tell you're mad. As you can tell, he definitely went a bit too far with this one, but we had to include it on the list to show how savage it was. Number 7. Cleaning out my closet. Sharper than a razor. And every, everybody knows in his lyrics he can cut anybody down a second. And that's, that's his weapon. In the lyrics of this very song, Eminem says that it's not a diss track, but it's maybe the most brutal attack he's ever released. It's aimed at his own mother, Debbie, who says in her own autobiography that she can't listen to it without sobbing. The lyrics are deeply personal and portray Debbie as a terrible mother who Eminem wants out of his life. Not only is this song directed towards his mother, but in verse 2, Em talks about how his father left him and that he would never do this to his daughter, and some of the crazy stuff that he did because of his wife, Kim. The metaphor, cleaning out my closet, refers to him not holding his tongue anymore, and it's a double meaning, he's finally going to leave his mom in peace because he is fed up with her and has also let go of his feelings. What really stood out to many people regarding the song is towards the end when Eminem references his uncle Ronnie, who unfortunately lost his life in 1991. In the song, Em raps about how his mother wished it were him who lost his life instead of Ronnie. The disc may not be the one that we want to remember, but it's definitely one that went a bit too far. Number 6. 2017 BET Cypher Oh yeah, 
That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not. Back in 2004, Eminem and Donald Trump seemed like they were friends. They certainly don't seem that way now. The rapper has some harsh words for the current US president on his recent album's revival in Kamikaze, but he truly went full bore on the controversial leader and his fans in his first acapella. It turned out that Eminem's fans were also Trump fans and it didn't really take this kindly to how nasty a cypher got. Racism is the only thing he's fantastic for, because that's how he got his rocks off, and he's orange. Eminem spits in the cypher referring to the infamous wall Trump promised to build on the US-Mexican border. Eminem rapped, if he does build it, I hope it's rock solid with bricks. Cause like him in politics, I'm using all of his tricks. Overall, this disc was very brutal and the fact that Eminem performed it live makes it even crazier. To go and diss a president live on TV is definitely risky, but Eminem wanted to do it. Number five, Quitter. Eminem's back and forth battle with Everlast ended with his hate-filled track, which features D12 and mostly set the tune of Tupac's Hit Him Up. The massive heart attack Everlast suffered is mercilessly mocked like his career age, religion, and more. Eminem used lyrics to encourage fans to assault Everlast if they ever see him in public, and also repeatedly states, if you talk about my little girl in a song again, I'ma end you. The verses are filled with all kinds of insults, slurs, threats, but the chorus is super catchy. You're just a quitter, and you bitter cause I came along, and the days of House of Pain are gone. This was definitely one of Eminem's most intense disses that he made in his career, and he completely destroyed Everlast in the lyrics, and left fans in shock. Number 4. The Sauce One of Eminem's biggest beefs was with The Source magazine and its founder, Benzino, who was a rapper in his own right and member of the Boston-based crew Made Men. After Benzino called him out on Pull Your Skirt Up for hip-hop's racial double standard, alleging that he'd be far less successful if he weren't white, the Detroit rapper fired back by going to war with both Zeno and his magazine. With no chorus, melody, or real song structure, the sauce addressed all of Benzino's shots and retaliations with some of his own, and it's a full-on takedown of the Source magazine, calling out backdoor politics and questionable journalism ethics before M digs into Benzino. In the lyrics, M raps. Every issue there's an eighth page, made man spread. Well, somebody, please tell me whoever braids his head. I'm not afraid of this f waste of lead. I'm a pencil for me to write some f this simple. So listen closely as I break it down and proceed. This old G's about to get smoked like rolled weed. Number three, Kim. But I don't know if he was a good husband or not, really. He's the only husband I've been with, so I can't compare him to anybody else. Eminem has often used horror movie elements in his performances, which is what many fans love him for. His music videos have a kind of movie vibe which keeps people engaged and biting their nails. However, in his song Kim, Eminem raps about how he wants to end his ex-wife's life. This disc definitely went a bit too far, as the act of taking someone's life is not something that should have been rapped for millions upon millions to listen to. The track is a prequel to the 97 Bonnie and Clyde, in which Eminem raps about disposing Kim's body with her daughter Haley. Strictly speaking, it's not a diss track, but it's an extremely savage and well scary one number two the ringer dissing Lil Yachty but again pretty much saying Lil Yachty's rapping or whatever he's doing ain't for him on the opening trap of kamikaze Eminem wastes no time throwing shots at new generation hip-hop artists a minute into the song M tells his listeners exactly how he feels about the mumble rappers dominating the scene today mimicking Lil Pump's Gucci gang flow over a haunting Ronnie J and Illidan producer beat Eminem states his dislike for the overused delivery while refusing to play any mumble rap in his car M specifically name drops Lil Yachty while possibly throwing a shot at him explaining Lil Boat's music is not for him and he'd rather listen to another lyrical rapper like himself and so in the lyrics M raps, do you have any idea how much I hate this choppy flow? Everyone copies though, probably no. Get this fucking audio out of my audio, adios. I can see why people like Lil Yachty, but not me though, not even dissing, it just ain't for me. All I am simply is just an MC. This is one of Eminem's best disses he's ever made, and it's also important to note the fact that he includes recent day mumble rappers in his lyrics. This definitely opened up the minds of many rap fans worldwide as Eminem went on and dissed many people here. Number one, girls. And the reason I, the reason that I dissed this biscuit is because <clears throat> because they're little f***ing girls. They were friends for a while and even toured together, but Eminem and Limp Bizkit surely did fall out. When Bizkit made comments that supported Eminem's rap rival Everlast, Eminem was triggered enough to hit back with the diss, Girls. Girls is a diss track aimed primarily towards Limp Bizkit, but also takes shots at others, including Everlast and Dilated Peoples, and so in the song, Eminem claims that he left Durst hanging on purpose when the red carpet singer tried to give him a high five at the MTV Video Music Awards in September, though Eminem claimed his reasoning for dissing Durst and Lethal is for comments Lethal made two months later. Either way, we feel this one had to be included on the list because Eminem not only dissed Limp Bizkit, but he also threw shade at many other figures in the rap and celebrity world. Girls is one of Eminem's most savage diss tracks of all time, and it even went a bit over the top with some of the things that he said. And so there you have it, a list of Eminem's biggest disses that he's ever dropped. So which one do you think was your favorite? Which one do you think was the most underrated? And also, is there one that we missed? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on King Trending. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away 
either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.